Okay, well, part of my, well, one of my Sephora orders came in the Summer Fridays, even though they told me it was sold out and I was not going to get it. It showed up today. Um, and I also had to fight with them to fix my bank account. So it's just crazy. But this is part of it. And here's the rest. All right, dolls and gents. So the rest of my Sephora order came in. They, um, as I think I told y'all before, shipped the Summer Fridays lip balm separately. They first told me it was out of stock. Um, and when I called the 1-800 number because they charged my account, she kept saying it was out of stock. But then I kept getting tracking saying it was on the way. So I kind of waited. Um, I did get the Summer Friday pink lip balm. I'm glad because it's out of stock again. Um, so if I see that come back in stock again, I may grab an extra and I may not. I don't know. I always do that and I end up with too many lip balms. Um, but the rest of the stuff finally came in. So I did get the Patrick Star one size mattifying waterproof setting spray and we are definitely going to test this out and we are going to see now i've seen some videos where um in his video nothing comes off but i've seen some other videos where a little bit comes off and a little bit is better than none but we're going to test it out um it says 100 percent results are in some people said their makeup stayed secure said it didn't smudge said it didn't leave a sticky residue all of that is good but i don't know if something is water proof okay and i do intend to find out all right i also grabbed the charlotte tilbury in the small setting spray so we're gonna do a day of each um and we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna do a hot south florida summer day of each okay and we are gonna test the waters so you guys definitely subscribe hit the button stay tuned because we are going to put it to the test and the last thing I grabbed, because they kept saying a summer Friday was out, was the Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. I did go ahead and get this. I don't regret it. It is a beautiful color. Um, and so I do have this as a backup. I probably won't grab another um, summer Friday right now because you guys know me. I already have overkill on lip balms, but I just can't help it. All right, so you guys definitely stay tuned. I'm going to test each one of these setting sprays out for you. And we're going to get some honest, real, raw review and results. If you grab something from the Sephora VIB sale, put it down below. Tag me in your video or tag me on Instagram. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, real quick. So Ulta put out their um, 10, 10 off 30 coupon. Of course, when I said I was done shopping. 10 off 30 including prestige if you don't know what that means it means it's like the entire store expensive items prestige items and all of that so let me tell y'all about this here this is a tiktok made me buy it but y'all they ain't lying i'm done with victoria's secret i'm done with bath and body works y'all this soap and glory this one that has the rose and bergamot rose and bergamot shower gel lotion whatever this smells like chanel um, Mademoiselle, y'all, go there now, come back to this video and comment. This smells like Chanel. And I think the Chanel, when I look, because I have Mademoiselle, it does have bergamot or something in it. Y'all, it's close. Oh, my God, y'all. I rubbed all that stuff on me in the store, okay? All that stuff on me in the store, even though I just got off work and I'm going to take a shower. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, go smell it. Go smell it. $15.99, 14 12 dollars This was $12.99. The jar was $15.99. So I got this instead. I don't always like scooping my hand in a jar anyways. Okay. Um, I got another one of these because oh snap, the color pop. Oh snap. This color, y'all know how I am about a new pink. And I bought one from the store in Boynton and they only had one left. So that Boynton is like by where I work. Okay. So I drove up here by where I live to the other Ulta. Y'all stop opening these people crap, okay? I know they need to have testers out, but stop opening these people. Stop. This one had three open and one that wasn't open. Oh, snap. I don't know about all the rest of them. It's still there. Y'all can get any other color you want. But this old snap. Because y'all know on women of color, our lips are different and our lips are darker. So we buy lipstick and lip... um. 
lipsticks, not lip glosses, but mainly lipsticks and the color changes when you put it on your lips. It is not the color that it is on the tube or in the tube. I had to get this. And if I go to another old time, I'll grab one more. It's the perfect pink nude for me. Um, I got the some more e.l.f. primer. I like the blue one. But I seen that the pink one has deniacinamide, the power grip. The pink one has this name right here. Okay. That one. So I grabbed the pink one this time. Normally I would have grabbed the green one. This is very similar to the Hydro Grip, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And this was only $10. And the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is a little bit more expensive. Also with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I think I showed y'all in my empties. I did not like the fact that I could not get all of my primer out of the jar. When I got to the end of the jar, I feel like I'm looking over these glasses. Um, I feel like I had to throw some of my primer away. Um, so the elf is a dupe and the green one is really good. I use that for oily skin It's been nine hours probably ten and I'm only oily right here as you can see So I got the pink one and then I Got some of the um, I don't know how to say this name But this is the rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil to promote hair growth I use oils all throughout my hair, especially while they're in protective hairstyles and I do rub it like on my edges area, even though it do a little bit for it. Um, I don't know if I have Appalachia or what. I've had it all my life. I told y'all I'm not even too concerned with it no more. And it has nothing to do with braids or wigs. So don't come on here with that bull crap because I clap back. I clap back. I've been like this since high school and I wasn't doing braids and wigs then. Okay. Um, this side is a whole lot better as you can see. But I do massage the oils in there. But for the most part. I just put it in the rest of my hair, in the rest of my hair. Um, so I did spend 40 on the nose, cause you know how your girl do, she stays in her budget. Spent my 40, um, got my $10 off. And so I walked out of there spending 32 with tax. And that was the goal that I was going for. But y'all, I, oh, before, before, and I'm finna do a TikTok. So before this blow up, when they send out the next ten off fifteen dollar uh three off fifteen dollar coupon, I'm gonna go grab another one before this blow up because this gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. I am home, you guys. I am out of the shower, and I'm gonna put some more of this on. This, oh my God, y'all, y'all go just go smell it. Just go smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I was riding home in that car, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm rubbing on my dress. I'm not going anywhere today, okay? I'm not going anywhere. But to get a whiff of this all day today, baby, listen, y'all just, just y'all just, if you're near, oh, who else sells this? I don't know who else sells the Soap and Glory. Don't forget, it has to be the Rose and Bergamot. Go to Marshall's, go to TJ Maxx. I don't know who else sells it. Smell it and come back. Y'all come back. Y'all come back and talk to me because, ooh, I'm telling you, it smells like one of the Chanel's. And I think it's the Mademoiselle. I really do. And I have it. And tomorrow, uh, this Sunday when I go to church, I'm going to layer this lotion. And I'm going to layer my perfume, baby. And let me tell y'all, they're going to smell me come in that church. And they're going to smell me walk out that church.